Hey guys, in this Effect House tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a eat falling object effect like this. I have created a subgraph which makes it very simple to create a filter like this and you can use and download this for free and I will show you in this video how to use it and to set up this effect. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create this eat falling objects effect here in Effect House. Before we start creating the effect, please make sure that you have downloaded all the assets we need to create this effect. So please go to the description of this video and there you can download all the files we need to create this video. And the most important file is the eat falling objects subgraph. So just click here on download. After you have downloaded all the files, we can import them. The first thing I will import is the eat falling object subgraph into my assets panel. Then I will also import all my graphics, but of course you can also use your own graphics which you have designed. So also just drag and drop them into your yeah, project. After this is done, we can start creating our scene. So for this we go to the left hand side to our hierarchy panel and here we click on add object. Then we go to 2D and here we select the screen image. After we have done this, we can see the screen image and also this placeholder in our preview. Now we can just yeah, resize this because for me it's a little bit too big. So select the screen image on the left hand side, go to the right hand side and here change the scale 2D. Here activate this chain and then you can yeah, change X and Y just with one change. So I will change X to 0 0.3. Yes, this is a good um, size. This is the size of the object which will fall down. Now we will start to animate this thing and also give it the functionality so we can eat it. And we will also assign the texture to it. So the next step is that you drag and drop the eat falling object subgraph from your assets panel into your visual scripting panel. After you have done this, you should see this blue node in the middle of your visual scripting panel. Now you see we have some um, inputs and yeah, also two outputs. And now I will show you what those inputs are doing and we will set up this subgraph. So the first thing we will change is the object here. This is set to none, but we have to set this to our screen image scene object. So just click on it and then select the screen image. Then we see that it has disappeared because we haven't set any array yet and we also haven't set the duration. So please set the duration to start, let's, let's say two, but you can change this of course later. And now we have to yeah, change our texture array I have three pictures, so I will import three pictures here, but I will just start with one. So you see that it also works with one, two or three pictures. So after we have done this, we need one important last step. We have to start this node. So I right click here, or you can also select it here on the top with the plus to add node and then here search for start or if you want to um, yeah, start it with a screen tab you can also search, search for screen tab here but I will trigger it with the start of the filter. So we have this we also could have used those here but I don't want them so I delete it and yeah just connect the next output of the start node with the start input of the subgraph. And now you can already see that the object is falling down. And when you open your mouth and you catch the object, it will disappear. You can also see that there is an animation going on. So it is getting a little bit smaller, so it looks more realistic. You can turn this animation on and off here with this pool in the eat falling objects subgraph. So when you set the duration, for example, to one now, the object is falling down um, faster. So here in duration, you type in the, the seconds of how long um, it takes the object to go from the top to the bottom. So when I set it to three, it is much, much um, slower. So yeah, 
This is the Eat Falling Object subgraph. And here you can, of course, add more pictures to the array. For example, when I add three, um, it's randomly generated which picture is falling down. So you can add some variety to your filter. We have also two outputs here of this Eat Falling Object um, subgraph. You have the next output. This gets triggered when the start triggers here. And we have the catched output. This gets triggered when you catch an object. So you can, of course, use a counter um, to count how many objects are eaten. I will show you now one more thing, um, how to add a second object which is falling down, but which is not triggered at the same time. So we will yeah, add a new screen image. So go to add object again and also select screen image. So we have this screen image one. So I will also change the scale of it from one to 0.3 again. And then we also have to duplicate this eat falling object subgraph. I will just copy and paste it. So then there are all options the same like in this one so I don't have to type in and set the textures again and now we take our next output and connect it with the start input when we do this nothing happens because we have to change one thing here because this is set to the same screen object to the first one but we have to set it to the one we have just created and now we have two objects falling down but now they are as you can see at the same time because when this starts it triggers the next and starts this one so we have to um, yeah set up a wait node in the middle of this connection so just drag this connection the next from the first subgraph and here search for a wait for seconds and then it automatically yeah connects it in between those two subgraphs and now you can change the start value here for example to one and now the second object starts um, with a one second delay and now you can do this as often as you want and create as many falling objects for your effect so yeah this is all the magic um, about the eat falling object subgraph I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new on this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.